It has increasingly become something that universities have to teach and museums have to collect. Um, it's kind of entered the canon of world art um, as something that has to be represented if you want to represent the world. If you want to represent art, you have to include Africa, and just as you have to include Greece and you have to include China and so forth. Anything that's happening is private, pretty much. Um, the federal government gives exhibition support and some institutional support, but basically has not been a significant player. Um, they have supported big exhibitions, um, but so have corporations and private foundations and so forth. Um, so in the States, everything's private. <laughs> and the situation with Africa is no different from anything else, really. It's less racial politics than the racial composition of the United States, I would say, um, has, has made it something central to our history. But as I say, African art recommends itself by its very quality. So the quality of the work says that you should be collecting it whether you're addressing an African-American population or not. Um, I feel very strongly that all Americans need to see it and people need to see African art, period. Um, it's not something that's just for African Americans or just for sort of a part of the population. Because the work is anonymous, um, so you're not looking for a signature, and because connoisseurship often wasn't really terribly developed, um, there were opportunities to sell things that were not what they pretended to be. Um, and that's I think, I don't know whether it's, I think it's prevalent in all fields, antiquities and archaeological material and things that are, for example, not contemporary um, are forged and Africans are right up there with the good ones. I think the contemporary art scene in general has been eager to find new, new work, new sources, new ideas, new forms. Africa, China in particular, but also India and to a lesser extent Latin America have been very fertile sources for new kinds of art. So biennales and collective exhibitions and so forth have drawn, as have been very open to them.